guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to be learning how to cut a uh, gypsy dress or you can also call it caribbean dress so i will show you how we are going to calculate it i have um, i'll be doing two step but in case you want to do three step you can see how i created it here so the full length the full length i'm working with is 58 inches and the half length is 16 inches okay full length is 58 half length is 16. now if you minus 16 from 58 inches you have 42 inches so that means the one i'm going to be using for the gypsy or the caribbean is going to be 42 inches now if you want to make three step you can just divide this 42 inches divided by three and whatever you have is going to be the length of each of the three steps you are going to cut but if you don't want them to be the same length they can be five inches you know longer than each other this can be five inches shorter why this one is five inches um, longer why this other one too is five inches longer or you can cut them the same way but i am doing two step so the two step you know after i minus 16 inches from 58 i have 42 inches and i'm using two step now 42 inches if i want to make them the same all i just need to do is to make each of the step 21 21 inches but i don't want each of the step to be the same thing okay so what i'll be using for the first step i'll be using 19 inches for the first step so since i'm using 19 inches for the first step that means the second step is going to be 23 inches okay so because you need 0 0.5 inch to join this place back to your half length okay and then you need 0 0.5 inch to also join the second step to the first step that makes it one inch so i'm going to be adding one inch to the 19 inches i have here and i have 20 inches okay so the second one is 23 inches half an inch to also join to the first step and then one inch for the seam allowance i have 1.5 so 1.5 plus 23 inches i have 24.5 inches so from here to here is 22 inches is 20 inches by length and from here to here is 24.5 inches by length now if you want to make it up to three step you can just follow the uh, explanation i just did now to determine the wideness of the fabric that is how wide or how you know the circumference of let me just say the circumference so to, to determine the circumference of the fabric all you need to do is measure your hip okay so for the first step you are going to multiply your hip into two okay the hip i'm working with is 43 inches okay so 43 into two you have 86 inches so that's going to be the circumference of the first step okay your hip multiply by two now for the second step is going to be your hip multiply by three or just the second step is going to be your hip multiply by three and you have 129 now if you want to make the um up to third step just multiply your hip into four and then you have the measurement here so this is how i'm going to cut out the fabric so i'll go ahead cut out the fabric join it together and show you what it looks like so guys i'm done cutting the first layer you know i told you the first layer is going to be the first step is going to be smaller than the second step so what i did was to gather the first layer i gathered the top of it okay because the top here is where i'm going to be attaching to the half scale because i'm making a gown so this gathered side here is where i'll be adding to the half scale so i only gathered the top side here now the lower part of it i did not gather the lower part of it okay i left it the way it is now the second step i gathered the upper part of it while i hem the lower part of it so the upper part of it i gathered it and also when you gather it make sure that you have the same measurement you have here at the first step the lower part of the first step the measurement you have here when you gather this place make sure you have the same 
measurement so that it can go around and then you stitch it down just like i did now i have stitched i have stitched it down now you can see this is what it looks like and then i closed up the back i closed up the back then i'll go and join it to the to the top to the half scale i'll join it to the half scale bodies and then show you what it looks like so that you have more understanding of what i have explained so far so guys thanks for watching this video to the end and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you do so kindly like and share this video also subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so click on the notification bell so that you get notified each time i post a new video i'll see you guys in my next video bye